Energy consultant Kevin Ramnarayan explains the way the gas audit report is perceived means taking into consideration the classification of reserves has changed. He explains categories in the past were proven, probable and possible. In 2018, Ramnarine says classification changes were made to include quote-unquote contingent resources. What we have now instead of proven, probable and possible is that we have something called P1 plus C1, which is um, proven reserves plus contingent resources and then P2 plus C2 and P3 plus C3 and so on. So it's, I don't want to go into that level of technicality. Of course. But um, I would say that in the P1 plus C1 category, which replaced the proven, there is now a greater degree of uncertainty. So to each of the previous categories, proven, probable, and possible, they now have a plus contingent resources. Contingent resources are those quantities of petroleum estimated as of a given date to be potentially recoverable from known accumulations by the application of projects not currently, and this is the clincher, not currently considered to be commercial owing to one or more contingencies, hence the word contingent. So what it's saying is that there's gas there, but for that gas, there, there are no projects that have been sanctioned. One of those contingent projects Ramnarine believes is the Calypso field, where natural gas was quantified off Tobago in 2021 to be 3.5 trillion cubic feet of gas. We have to explore yes. more. We have to, so therefore we have to pick up the pace of exploration. And two, we have to look at this Calypso project and other projects, but that one is a big one for us. It's, it's potentially a big win and move that from that contingent category into that into that reserve category. That has to be a, a national priority. I know it's engaging the ministry's attention, but it is, as I said, taking rather long um, because that contract was awarded by, by me in 2012. The former energy minister was speaking on the TV6 Morning Edition.